Welcome to another Tips and Tricks. Do you want to track the performance of an object on your system? Let's say you need to track the temperature of a clean room to make sure that you are maintaining the temperature at all times. One of the ways of doing this is by trending the data. You can trend this data two different ways. The first is by polling the data. The second is by recording the data based on a change of value. So to demonstrate this, first we'll create a trend log. We'll select the training room and clock on controller CP100. Now we're going to select the Manage button and click Create. We'll select TL for the object reference. In the Object Name field, we're going to call this trend log MAU1, Supply Air Temperature TL. Now we'll hit the Create button. However, as you see, we got a red error because the program thinks there's a duplicate name. Let's go back and do this again. Only this time, we're going to rename the trend log MAU1 SAT. Now a window opens asking us for data. It's looking for the monitored object. In this case, it's going to be supply air temperature. So we know that's an analog input on this panel, and we'll select AI as the type. And we're going to scroll to find supply air temperature object. We will now select 100 AI, and then select supply air temperature. We can either collect the data by polling the data based on time interval, or we can select the change of value, which will collect the data based on how much change has taken place. So we're going to select polling for the first trend. Note, it defaults to one minute, so every minute it would put an entry into the trend log. Next we're going to fill in the number of samples. We're going to use 300. You're allowed to maximum 6,000 samples per trend. However, you may not need that many samples, depending on the data you're tracking. You'll notice it says start sampling at a certain time. It always defaults to midnight of the current day. If left this way, the trend log would never start since the time is past midnight and the value has already gone by. If we uncheck it, it'll start as soon as we save this trend log. We could specify an end date if we only wanted this trend log to run for a certain period of time. We can specify an end date and time to indicate when to stop the trend or another option to say stop collecting data when the trend log is full. This means once 300 samples were collected, the trend log would stop. So we're not going to specify an end time, we'll just leave it open and save it. Now we'll be collecting samples every minute with this trend log. We're going to close the trend log and we're going to create another trend log for the same type of equipment. MAU1, SAT, Temp Trend Log. Once we create the trend log, we'll scroll to the change of value type. Change of value means it's only going to put an entry in the log when it sees a change of value. That change of value is actually defined inside the object we are monitoring. So we're going to be monitoring the supply air temperature. Now we're going to find the object that we're monitoring, which is the supply air temperature. You'll notice that it says inside here on this object, COV minimum acronym. That is where you set the change of value to record the entry for on your trend log. So if we could change that to two degrees, then every time there was a two degree change, it would put an entry on the trend log. This concludes our tips and tricks for the day. Please subscribe to follow us on YouTube. If you'd like more content like this, let us know in the comments below.